Brody Romero versus Pitbull Cruz and Tim Zhu versus Sebastian Fundora this Saturday coming up. We're going to talk about that right here on the Master Flex Sports Channel. Welcome back, y'all. I am your boy, Master Flex, and today we're going to talk about Rolly Romero versus Pitbull Cruz, the second video I'm putting out on that, and now Tim Zhu versus the replacement, Sebastian Fundora. So, when I first put out my first video, uh, I think it was, I think the only fight that got announced was Rolly Romero versus Pitbull Cruz, which, to, to be honest, I honestly think should be the main event. I don't think it should be the co-main. I think after... Um, after uh, Thurman pulled out because of the injury, I think they should have elevated that to the main event because I'm not going to lie. I don't know how Sebastian Fundora can lose his last fight, especially by a hellacious knockout, to to now be the main event on a, on a pay-per-view card for two titles now. Because I think they said it was for the, the WBA and the WBC title, the vacant WBC title. So... Don't make no sense. But apparently the winner of that fight goes and fights, uh, has to fight the mandatory, which is uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, which is, whew, boy, that's going to be a banger. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to start off with Roley versus Pitbull. All right. I already said this already, and I'm, and I'm sticking to my guns on this one. I think Pitbull is going to end Roley's career. I think, although I think this is going to be a very competitive fight because it's going to be a barn burner, bro. I think both of them are going to swing, but I just think the issue with Roley is that he keeps his chin too high. He follows in with his chin too much. And for a guy with that, for like Pitbull who fights just like a mini Mike Tyson, he's going to be susceptible to them hooks. And I think, I think this ends roughly between four to seven i'm gonna give myself a three round buffer okay i think this ends in four to seven by knockout and i think pitbull got this easy now uh the main event now i'm like i'm not gonna make a big like uh breakdown of this because i already did a breakdown with it with my boy fabian so if y'all didn't see that go check out that video uh it, it's it it's a not you know if you disagree go ahead and say something you know but uh the main event tim zoo versus sebastian fundora now I think this is another fight that I, I honestly think if you're gonna buy this pay per view, don't honestly don't buy the pay per view. I'm gonna be honest with you. Now, like I hate to say that, but the fight's gonna end early, bro. That like the way Sebastian Fundora fights, him being that ridiculously tall, and the way he fights, he fights like he's an inside fighter with all that range, bro, and he don't got the chin for it. He don't got the chin for it. And Brian Mendoza exposed him for that. And now you're going to go up to a bigger weight division and think you're going to do anything different to Tim Zhu? Tim Zhu who got knockout power? Nah, bro. You're going to get starched again. And I, and especially being a short... like Shout out to Sebastian Fedora to step up on a short notice uh, fight. Even though he was fighting on the card. They just now... They, they elevated him to now fight Tim Zhu. Um, I just don't think he's got like this is a much like the fight he had before was he could have possibly won that one but this one he's asking Tim's just gonna bring the pressure and what's gonna happen is is like granted he met his coaches may have taught him to fight at range but what's gonna happen is is like you can't teach a fighter in that short a time granted he's, he's been out of the ring for about a year but a year is not enough time to read to reteach a fighter how to go from like fighting inside to now being a straight boxer you know and fundora being so tall as he is like it's just not gonna happen bro tim zoo's gonna put that pressure on him and i think like he's gonna put he's gonna put the pressure on him he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna force him to fight on the inside and then that's gonna be his demise he's gonna get caught with a hook and that's and it's gonna be night night fundora so that's why I say just don't buy the pay-per-view, you know, just wait till the highlights come out because I'm telling you right now, the fight's going to end, I honestly think, within four, you know. Nah, let me not say that, all right, because because I'll be saying, I'm going to say within six. Let me just be safe and say it's going to end within six because Tim Zhu is a pressure, pressure fighter and Fundora is not good. He doesn't have the chin to be fighting on the inside like that. And yeah, I honestly think like, you know, Tim Zhu's going to get this dub, and then now he's going to fight Terrence Crawford, which, let's be honest, that's going to be a banger. I think Terrence Crawford got that in the bag, to be honest. He just, he moves too slick. I mean, maybe age might might be, you know, the thing that gets him, but, like, yeah, no, nah, bro, like, that man Crawford's too nasty, bro. I, I, bro, I, the last time I saw Crawford, I was going for Spence, and 
Oh boy, how wrong I was. Oh boy, how wrong I was. Like I, I look, I, I'll say it. Like I say it when I'm wrong. But that man put beat the brakes off of Spence, and I ain't gonna hold you. I thought it was gonna be much more competitive. I thought Spence was gonna win. I was so wrong. I was so wrong. And I don't think a rematch is even viable. I don't even think Spence even wants that rematch because, like, let's be honest, the same thing's going to happen. There's not any, really anything that you're going to be able to change in, in that short amount of time, whether it be a year, year and a half, two years, that's going to be able to beat what Spence put. Like, Spence beat you like nobody's ever beaten you before. Like, that's going to... That immediately takes the spice out of it. I think Spence needs to go fight a tune-up, maybe a couple... And then maybe try to bring that back, you know, like try to work on some things. But like, yeah, I think, I think, Spen I mean, not Spence, Crawford is going to fight Zoo after this, after this fight. And um, I think it's going to be an easy dub for, for Crawford. And then I don't, maybe he fights Charlo, but I, I don't think anybody got smoked for Terrence Crawford. As long as age doesn't affect him, I don't think nobody got smoked for Terrence Crawford, you know. But anyways... I ain't got much to say about this because I already made the video on Rolly Romero and Pitbull, so, you know, and then Tim Zhu and Fundora, just, it seems like a lopsided match to me. Like, it, like at least Thurman would have been a little bit more competitive, but I think the result would have still ended the same. Um, Thurman would have boxed a lot more, but I just think Thurman being out, out of the ring so long and, and you know, having to get in there with a big puncher like, like Zhu, like, I just... I don't think I don't think Thurman would have had enough, you know. The ring rust would have got him, the age would have got him, and, and, and the inactivity would have got him, you know. And Tim Zhu's been active. Tim Zhu's been active, so yeah, it's a good thing he pulled out. To be honest, maybe it was an injury, maybe it wasn't, but it's a good thing he pulled out because I, I, it would have, yeah, that would have probably been the end of Thurman, you know. Probably wouldn't have seen him again, maybe until he retires or two years from now after he loses. So Fundora, I don't think I don't I, I don't think he does anything different. And I think we can expect uh, Zoo versus uh, Crawford here in the coming in the coming months. So, anyways, I've been your boy Master Flex. Um, leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notifications for the new videos, and uh, support the channel. You know. So I'm out here putting videos on almost on a daily basis. So I've been, like I said, I've been your boy. Peace.